All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of the universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the books I read in the month of November 2023. I went insane, people. I read 23 books. That is like, I think that's tied with the most I've ever read in a month. And you'd think November with only 28 days in the month it would have been less books, but it was actually more books. And <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. People are like, how do you read so fast? How do you read so many books? And I'm just like, well, um, A... First of all, I read about 100 pages an hour, so, you know, a 300-page book, you know, it's going to take me three hours. I come home from work three hours later, got a book read. Another thing is, is I don't have kids, which frees up a lot of time. Another thing is, uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, no marriage, no kids. That, well, that's basically the answer, folks. When you have no social life, no family... You can, you can burn through 23 books a month. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, let's get started. So let's talk about the books I read this month of February 2023. Uh, we started with uh, Stephen King essay, essays um, by Stephen King. Keep in mind, any of these books, if you want to... Um, if you want to look at the, because I did read these books and leave a review of these books on my YouTube channel. So if you want to um, check out the reviews of any of these books in detail, just type in the name of the book, my last name, and the review will magically show up somewhere on your smartphone, computer, TV, I don't know. Um, okay, so then I read uh, John D. McDonald's first Travis McGee book. It is the deep blue goodbye it's pretty good i read um the three body problem for the first time dope book loved the book left a great review of that one i also then read um one of the star wars legends books um choices of one by timothy zahn And, uh, oh, I read book two of Mark Lawrence's trilogy. This is the King of Thorns. This is the um, Broken Empire trilogy. Another great book. In fact, all of the books on this are pretty dope. Uh, let's see. Hard Magic by Larry Correa. This is book number one in his Grim Noir Chronicles. Another great book there. And then I read... Oh, this is an old classic, The Baker's Boy. I read this back in the 1990s when it first came out and just reread it. It was a fun reread for me. <clears throat> and then we read uh, Mortal Fear. Probably, even though Greg Isles is one of my favorite writers of all time, this is probably my least favorite book of his. And you can watch my review to see why. I mean, it was a fun read but that's a little, it's really outdated um it's about stalking people on the computers but this was written back in the mid 90s when stalking people on computers was way different than it is now uh desert heat by j.a jance book number one in her joanna brady mystery series i read that and reviewed it um then I decided to get back into some more fantasy books. Uh, so, okay, so yeah, some of my favorite fantasy books of all time. I read this duology. It's The Mirror of Her Dreams and A Man Rides Through by Stephen R. Donaldson. Books one and two of More Dance Need. Probably been my favorite Stephen Donaldson books. Great, great books. Had a lot of fun rereading these. We've got uh, Slow Horses by Mick Heron, a new series I started. Really good. Apparently there's a television show called that. I've not seen it. 
I read the third book of Robert E. Howard's Conan. It's Conan the Freebooter. Small book. Took me about an hour to read. And then, of course, C.J. Box, one of my favorite new mystery writers of all time. This is book number 18 in his Joe Pickett mystery series. This is The Disappeared. I read it, loved it. Just absolutely wonderful series. Probably my favorite new... Gosh, this guy, C.J. Box, has rocketed in the last couple of years into my top three mystery writers of all time. Then we read Walter Mosley's The Long Fall. This is his book number one in his Leonid McGill series of books. Walter Mosley, I love his Easy Rollins books. I got a big collection of Walter Mosley books. Then I read Tyranny of Faith. This is the second book by um, Richard Swan. His first book, The Justice of Kings, I loved. It was one of my top ten books of last year. Just read the sequel. It was dope, dynamite, on fire, and lit all at once. <clears throat> okay, I read the second book in Six and Lou's Three Body Problem series. In fact, I don't even know what the series is called. I don't think it has a name. But the Three Body Problem, which was really killer is right here i read that earlier in the month read this one towards the end of the month the sequel the dark forest again just mind-blowing stuff mind-blowing science fiction i read oh probably my favorite read of the month was terry brooks running with the demon i absolutely adored every single word of this i remember reading it in the mid 90s when it came out and, um, God, just, I was so much more blown away by this, the second read through after, I didn't remember much about it, but I just loved this. I could gush on and on about this book. It was so good. <clears throat> and then I read another Stephen King nonfiction title, some of his, uh, more essays, Dance Macabre. Uh, about his love of the horror genre and the horror movies and all the horror books he loved as a kid. Interesting. And then I read another uh, book in uh, Charles DeLint's Newford series. This is Dreams Underfoot. This is a collection of short stories set in his Newford universe. Um, and I've talked about this series at length. I've done a whole video just about Charles DeLint's books. And then I read a uh, great, great mystery. One of the, probably my favorite James Lee Burke, Dave Robichaux mystery to the date. This is book number four in his Dave Robichaux series. This is a morning for flamingos. Just a dynamite, bloody, gruesome, grim mystery novel set in New Orleans. Just dope. Then I read uh, Monster Hunter International, book number one, and Larry Correa's uh, Monster Hunter series. I read, you saw that I put heart. I, that's two Larry Correa books I've read this month. Anyway, we'll put this one back in order, and then we'll stick this one over here. And then the last book I read this month was Shadows of Empire, Star Wars. Legends novel, one of my favorite Star Wars Legends novels so far, Shadows of Empire by Steve Perry. That, my friends, is all the books, all 23 books that I read in November of 2023. Hey, 23 books in 2023. Maybe I should make that a theme. Maybe my goal should be to read 23 books every month in the year of 2023. It seems like a good goal. <laughs>